distant galaxy starved by black hole. Using the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers have confirmed that supermassive black holes can starve their host galaxies of the fuel they need to make new stars. New observations using the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, have shown that supermassive black holes can suppress star formation in the galaxies around them. For confirmation, astronomers point to the supermassive black hole that starved the galaxy GS10578, in which it is located. The results and a description of the study are published in the journal Nature Astronomy. The galaxy GS10578, sometimes called Pablo's Galaxy, is about the size of the Milky Way. It is an ancient galaxy. It formed around shortly after the Big Bang. It is huge for such an early period in the universe. Its total mass is about 200 billion times that of our Sun, and most of its stars formed between 12.5 and 11.5 billion years ago. Like most large galaxies, GS10578 has a supermassive black hole at its center. Previous observations have shown that the galaxy is dead, meaning that it is not forming new stars. We knew from previous observations that it was a quiescent galaxy, it was not forming many stars for its size. We expected there to be a link between the black hole and the cessation of star formation, said Dr. Francesco Di Eugenio from the University of Cambridge, a CEO author of the paper. However, until Webb, we had not been able to study this galaxy in sufficient detail to confirm this link. We also did not know whether this quiescence was temporary or permanent, he added. In the early universe, most galaxies form lots of stars, so it is interesting to see such a massive dead galaxy at this time, said Professor Roberto Maolino from the University of Cambridge a CEO author of the study. If it had enough time to grow to such a huge size, any process that stopped star formation probably happened relatively quickly, he added. Using Webb, scientists found that this galaxy is ejecting large amounts of gas at speeds of about 1,000 km per second, which is fast enough to escape the galaxy's gravitational pull. These fast-moving winds are blown out of the galaxy by the black hole. Like other galaxies with accreting black holes, Pablo's galaxy has fast-flowing winds of hot gas, but these gas clouds are thin and low mass. Webb's observations revealed a previously unseen component of this wind, cold gas. This cold gas is dense and does not emit any light. But Webb, thanks to its incredible sensitivity, can see these dark clouds of cold gas because they block some of the light from the galaxy behind them. Stars are formed, among other things, from this cold, dense gas. Without it, the galaxy has difficulty forming new stars and goes out. In addition, the mass of gas being ejected from the galaxy is greater than what the galaxy would need to continue forming new stars. In effect, the black hole is starving the galaxy. The black hole is killing the galaxy and keeping it dormant, cutting off the source of food that the galaxy needs to make new stars, Di Eugenio said. Previous models predicted that the end of star formation would have a violent, turbulent effect on galaxies. But the stars in this galaxy are still moving in an orderly manner, suggesting that this is not always the case. We knew that black holes have a huge impact on galaxies, and it may be common for them to stop star formation, but until Webb we were not able to confirm this directly. This is another way in which Webb is such a huge step forward in our ability to study the early universe and its evolution, Mayo Lino said. The authors of the paper emphasize that this is just one galaxy. 
GS10578 provides a unique opportunity to study how the most massive galaxies in the universe became and remain dormant, the researchers explain in the paper. While we cannot draw general conclusions from a single target, we show that a supermassive black hole is capable of powering high velocity, high mass outflows of neutral gas sufficient to shut down star formation by removing its cold gas fuel.